The economy is a global economy, and we have everything from raw materials like iron, copper, all the way to finished goods like automobiles and other types of consumer uh, goods being transported all over the world, imports, exports. And so heavy haul transportation, which uh, locomotives provide the capability of actually moving all this goods and services around the world in North America and other places is essential to transport this material to and from ports, to and from different cities in the most efficient, economical, and also sustainable way. The challenges that we face as a society is a collective challenge, right? And we, WAPTEC, feel that we have a responsibility here, but this is a collective responsibility. So really, if we want to change and, and, and have a strong impact on this climate change, being able to really improve and increase the model shift from road to rail, being able therefore to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in the world, that must come through a full alignment between all the stakeholders. I think as employees of WAPTEC, we are extremely fortunate. As, as we speak, we are standing on the shoulders of three giants, and really giants individuals. Would it be George Westinghouse, Thomas Edison, or Louis Favely? The three of them have been inventors, have created technologies that are still in use today. So these three inventors really are our legacy, the, the one that you know we look at and we think we need to continue to, to, on their legacy and continue to invent and create and serve the world. And we've seen that it has created a pool of incredibly talented individuals, cross-pollination, we discuss together, we exchange ideas, we exchange innovation and we exchange solutions to better serve our customers all over the world. We built up a strategy that we wanted to be as clear as possible for all our stakeholders, internal, external. So, Really, you have to understand it. It's built around three main principles. First principle is innovating with purpose. Second principle is driving responsible operation. And the third principle is empowering people and community. The way you have to think about digital intelligence is it's here and now when it comes to decarbonization. So we've been investing a lot of money and efforts into developing new technologies which allow our railroad customers to reduce emissions, improve productivity and safety. And when it comes to emissions, you have to remember that 20% odd of their operating costs is really fuel, and within that, 90% of their emissions is driven by fuel. So we do make a direct impact, and it's here and now. It's all about listening to our customers, it's all about capturing what their problem statements are and then getting our engineers to sit down and think through on technology solutions which can enable that. As we started to think about the utilization of batteries back in the late 1990s and early 2000s, it became obvious that we were going to have the ability to have a great traction system that could take on a battery. We could develop now with the computing power that was available, great control systems, but the battery itself still had a long ways to go. What Trip Op Optimizer became is a way of managing that energy by minimizing breaking uh, change and, and thinking about the route that is coming ahead of the operation of the train, understanding how much energy was actually needed and what was the most optimal way of balancing um, the use of energy the speed that the train needed to achieve over certain uh, points so that it still met its schedule, but not wasting energy. The flex locomotive idea is about thinking about, okay, how do we influence uh, taking advantage of the energy management that is in the total train? One of the things you can do with a flex drive locomotive is take that individual battery locomotive that has seven to eight megawatt hours of energy on it, which is a huge amount of energy compared to a car, but still a very small amount of energy compared to what a train uses, and then combine that with other locomotives that are already 
in the train that still may be diesel powered, but then control the whole train set. So now you basically have a hybrid train. So you touch one locomotive and you influence the entire train's energy. Alternative fuels are really the future of transportation. While rail is already the cleanest and most efficient means to move goods by land, there's still opportunity to improve the outcomes for our planet. We believe here at Wabtec that biofuels, hydrogen, and batteries are the best paths forward. A locomotive has a very long life cycle. It will be out running in its environment for more than 20 years. The locomotives that we're producing today have the potential to be retrofitted to burn the fuel of the future. Whether that's hydrogen or a biofuel, our customers have the opportunity to upgrade these locomotives in the future. Today, metros are overcrowded all around the world, and we hear, we are reading more and more that a lot of metro authorities have a problem with the air quality. So the air quality is what the people are uh, experiencing when boarding in a train, in a metro, and today it is a problem which needs to be handled and needs to be managed. We have uh, developed a material which is creating a particle higher than PM10, which means PM10 is the size of the particle emitted by the system, and this has reduced quite a lot the problem. We have made a test on the metro in Paris, we have reduced the particle emission of PM1, PM2.5, PM5 by more than 90%, and this is helping drastically to improve the situation of the air quality. Green Air is a different technology. We, we move now to air conditioning, and how do we develop and design an air conditioning system which is less impactful on the global environment. Each air conditioning has a refrigerant to cool down the air. Some of these refrigerants are very, very polluting from the environment. And we have developed a railway solution of an air conditioning using propane. This propane is reducing the CO2 footprint of an air conditioning by roughly more than 1,500 times, which is great for the environment. Then on top of this, we have developed as well solution to reduce the energy consumption, because if I want to reduce the impact on the environment, I can use the same equipment, consuming less energy. And this is what we have developed and what today are offering to the market under the brand name Green Air. For more than 150 years, Wabtec has been an innovator within the transportation industry. This really starts from our founders, who were world-class inventors in their time. Favely, Edison, and Westinghouse all brought brand new technologies into their fields. Wabtec continues that today in the way that we're innovating on alternative fuels, but also in other parts of the industry. We continue to try to innovate and find the best solutions to drive the transportation segment forward. If you want to see the magic of making those things happen in real time, how does new technology come into play and change the old technology or old industry? Vaptech is the place to be in because we believe in innovation, we believe in technology, and we believe in moving and improving the world.